It seems to be a big part of what makes her a champion. Katie Draybot is always trying to figure out what she can do better. I don't think she wants to stop achieving at any point in time. If she accomplishes one goal, then it's really on to the next one. Draybot didn't take any time off after her amazing performance for Cedarburg at the state meet. She was immediately back at work with her Ozaki Aquatics team, joining some other state champions in the pool. Her final WIAA state meet was a memorable one. I mean, it was a really big day. I mean, it was definitely a little bit of a sad day. It's a lot of things and coming to an end, but in a good way. Um, so a little bit of sweet. Um, Really happy with how I swam and how the team swam and how we finished. In her final high school state meet, Draybot smashed records in winning both the 100 and 200 yard freestyle races. She also set a record in her leg of the 200 freestyle relay and led her team to victory in the 400 free relay. Katie didn't do any celebrating in the water at the end of those record setting performances. While she was happy with how she swam, showing a lot of emotion right away is not her style. Maybe that's because Katie has won titles and set records plenty of times before. She seems very humble about her achievements. She's not the type that would go crazy. She keeps it within herself, you know, the emotion. After every race, I think, I think of something that I could have done better. And not that I'm not happy with the swim, but I know that I can improve from the race that I just swam. Not that I don't celebrate, I mean, in the inside I'm happy and I'm cheering. Right now, Katie is getting ready for Junior Nationals, which are a couple weeks away. She's already qualified for Olympic trials next June. And next fall, Katie will take her 4.0 grade point average to study and swim at Stanford. I like to work hard in and out of the pool and I mean, school, I enjoy it. So, I mean, I'm enjoying all my classes this year. They're they're a lot of work, but I mean, ultimately, they're a lot of fun. Draybot has made a lot of sacrifices to achieve such big things in her sport. She admits being so dedicated to it can be tough, but it's also been extremely rewarding. I've met so many amazing people and gone to so many countries, and I mean, the opportunities that the sport has given me, I never thought I would have gotten, and I love the sport. As a team, Cedarburg just missed out on a trophy at state, finishing in third place, a mere five points behind runner-up Middleton. So congratulations to Cedarburg on a great season. Now here's Katie Draybot accepting one more award. Katie, congratulations on being Preps Plus featured student athlete of the week. You're great. <laughs>